And the dog said, yes, not only do I talk, but last week I reimagined Pi Pyrus Theorem. Ooh, the week before that, I created the concept of longitude and latitude. Ooh. And next week, I will invent the umbrella. Ah. I looked at the owner and I said, why are you selling it? He said, I can't take the lies anymore. I always have fascination though with the lesser known Greek gods. The spy in particular that spring to mind five I'm going to tell you about right now. We have got the god of poor achievement, mediocrities, <laughs> god of sincerity, sarcasticities, god of chips, heart disease, <laughs> god of Botox, and my favourite, the most contentious god of the lot, John Cleese, Icles. We've got to be forever grateful right? for what the Greeks have done for us. They were indeed the ones to introduce the metric system by bringing to the world Demeter. <laughs> so you guys, you can do away with defeat and delicious. They brought us Greek yogurt. Whoa! Don't know. <laughs> Greek chocolate. Toga alone, and my favourite, Greek cheese. If I the one, am a fetishist. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first one I've seen. Ooh, sound, now, modern medicine, it took leaps and bounds in ancient Greece. The god's very own physician, Chiron himself, he was half man, half horse, would later become the centaur for disease control. And South Asia, for you, did you know the very, very first vasectomy was performed right here in ancient Athens by Euclides? <laughs> True. It was later reversed by Eumenides. Democracy started right here in ancient Athens. Politics itself is a Greek word. Poly means many. Yeah. Ticks to blood sucking parasite. <laughs> <laughs> and did you know so? In ancient Athens, the word idiot referred to anyone who wasn't a politician. <laughs> and they probably had tables of turns. <laughs> Writers and philosophers, they were ten penny in ancient Greece. Yes, they were. Two of my favourites, both of them have foot fetishes, Plato and Socrates. I was out for dinner, actually, with Socrates the other night. He had this sexy game of footsie under the table. He got salmon up fruit. I got toad in the hole. <laughs> I'll let that you for a moment. <laughs> Which, funnily enough, is what he says. Alcohol has always played a major part in the life of the Greeks. And right now, I would like to sing a little ditty to honour those famous boozers. And I am going to do it on my famous Greek instrument. May you play, please. <laughs> Are you excited? Push it, please. Sing along, Sam, if you know the words. Aristophanes would often tremble at the knees after drinking booty nectar that's produced by honey bees. Homer, it said, the wine went to his head. Half a cup of beer, then he'd end up here in bed. Sat a woman and he ate a lot of paradis in the night, he just wasn't aware. As for he saw peace and pain, he could drink the night away, but in the end it drove him mad. And I drank a good time. Pythagoras was a drunken ass who after seven pints of lager would produce a lot of gas. Plato, they say, would stick in the way, snitcher of the good stuff, then he'd write a bloody play. Oh, God. Ah, Aristotle, Aristotle was a bugger for the bottle, then writer's loved his ale. And Thomas and my letters got hallowed on three meters. Bit like Samuel Mayer. He was a typical Greek male. Oh, Socrates himself is particularly missed. He 
Oh, so lovely little writer, but I'm not that when he's pissed. Ladies and gentlemen, 